The house was once the centerpiece of Desi Arnaz's Corona Thoroughbred Ranch, where he lived after his marriage to Lucille Ball ended in 1960 until he moved out in 1970. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest video. Please hit that like button and leave a suggestion or a comment. You might see that in a future video. Thanks for watching and now back to our regular scheduled program. On October 15, 1951, Desi Arnaz co-starred in the premiere of I Love Lucy, in which he played a fictionalized version of himself, Cuban orchestra leader Enrique Ricky Ricardo. His co-star was his real-life wife, Lucille Ball, who played Ricky's wife, Lucy. The show ran until 1957. Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball had been married since November 30, 1940. They divorced in 1960. After the divorce, Arnaz became the owner of the Corona Breeding Farm located near Lincoln Avenue and Rincon Street. There he designed and built a 4,400 square foot dream home reminiscent of his ch childhood in Cuba. The breeding business was dissolved and the farm later sold about 10 years later. During the holidays, celebrities such as Jimmy Durant, Bing Crosby, and family friends Fred and Ethel Mertz would visit. Desi Arnaz Jr. said even his mother visited. Desi Arnaz loved his horse ranch in Corona as well as the Corona sunsets. Desi Jr. once recounted that he would watch the sunsets with his father. He remembers his father saying, God really outdid himself. After the sale of the house in 1970, the house lay in state of disrepair for years. In 1984, Bert Altflisch, a construction company owner and breeder and trainer of thoroughbred horses, was hired to demolish and grade a property in Corona to make way for a factory, but there was a perfectly good Spanish-style home still standing. What you see here is the original site of the Corona Arnez Horse Ranch in 2021 at the intersection of Lincoln and Rincon. Due to the history surrounding this house, Altflisch made arrangements to move the home across the Santa Ana Riverbed to his property in Eastvale. The house was cut into three sections so that they could move the house about six miles. Bill Van Leeuwen, a neighbor of Altflisch, can remember when the ho house first came to rest on the property. It took a lot of work for Bert to restore it and bring it back to life, he says. The house was put back together like a Lego set on Altflisch's 365-acre property in what is now Eastvale, California. The house was refurbished to its former dignity and has been a handsome landmark for over 30 years. The beautiful home is still intact on the Altflisch property at the Grana Vista del Rio. Desi Arnaz Jr. once reported as saying, it was a great house. I had horses and go-karts. Back then, we were the only people out there. It used to be all horses and cattle farms. It was fun. Arnaz also said of his father, he loved animals and he loved nature. In 2006, Bert Alflisch passed away. His son, Steve, who inherited the home, wanted the Desi Arnaz house to remain a part of Eastville and Corona and his father's history. It was my father's wish to keep it intact, and that's my wish. I wanted to do something special with it. Steve envisioned making the home a wedding destination and meeting or event venue. Much of the surrounding property has already been sold off for development. In 2012, Europa Community Services District, JCSD, purchased both the home and the land surrounding it for $2.2 million. It would complete the section of the San Juan River Trail that would connect the Riverwalk to Eastville Community Park. The acreage around the house was quickly developed as Lenner Homes had transformed the once vast pasture land into a collection of exclusive homes, including the Desi Collection, in tribute to Mr. Arnaz. The JCSD Parks Committee was authorized to spend over a million dollars to develop the land immediately surrounding the Desi House. The landscape plan was put together by Architera Design Group. 
As of September 2021, the restoration of the house and surrounding property is nearly complete. What you see here is the back of the Desiernes house. This is his property from the back where the trail is um, overlooking the riverbed. And um, as you can see there, it is pretty much done. You can see the trees, everything is landscaped. Everything is nice. There's a couple trucks, uh, work trucks still up in the front. And I think they're putting the final touches on it. There's still chain link fences that surround the property um, in the front. So uh, you can still cannot go in, but amazingly it looks done and it looks really nice. They did a really good job of restoring the property. This is the front of the house. This is where the chain link fence is. This is at the cross streets of Citrus Street and Gran Hay Vista del Rio. And this is uh, right across from uh, the high school. And as you can see, there is the chain link fence. I was able to uh, quote unquote sneak in. Um, there's two uh, trucks out in the front, but um, this is the front. They have totally restored this. This is the parking lot where people can uh, park the cars so they can go and uh, I guess uh, visit. Um, currently it is still closed because they have a chain link fence there. And then uh, again, what you see in the front right where that overhang is, that is where the original garage was where they parked their cars. And as you can see, there's the courtyard inside and that overhang right there on your right that is where they would park the car cars and where the garage was i believe so um again this was fully restored and um they've taken about two to three years to do this to fix it all up but um it is a nice area and this is um again surrounded by um, homes and a neighborhood and once again this is the desi house on uh in east vale Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.